Remember Jesus' last words on the cross? Eli, Eli, lama shabaktani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Well, did you know that those are only his last words according to Matthew and Mark? It's in the book of Luke that he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And his last lines are actually, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And then in John, the most interesting account in my opinion. First he says, Woman, behold thy son, and behold thy mother. I thirst. It is finished. Now, if all the disciples were there, why do they have different accounts of what his last words were? Ilian, why are you so obsessed with Jesus? Are you Christian? No. But I've been obsessed with Jesus since I was a kid. The fact that we measure time according to when someone was here on earth used to boggle me as a kid. And obviously I needed to find out everything I could about who he was because like, why is this person so important? But anyway, back to the last words. Now, Christian scholars have pretty much reconciled these into the seven sayings of Christ on the cross. But the fact is that you can't find all seven in one book. The one I didn't mention being Luke 23, 43. Truthfully, I say unto thee, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. So different last words, as well as different accounts on who was saved that day. Was it the robber? Was it Barabbas? Was it no one? Now, in the Jewish faith, Jesus is generally considered by scholars to be a false prophet because it's considered that the time of his coming isn't aligned with the prophecies of the true Messiah. And in the Quran, he was never unalived. What? Elian, you heretic. No, I'm serious. Now, regardless of your fate, let's just think about this for a second. In the Quran, the unalivement of Jesus is only spoken of in the past tense. And it comes at the end of the chapter, Anisa, the women which honestly makes a lot of sense considering that the biblical accounts of the last days of Jesus have a lot of women around him. And it's the women who follow him afterwards to the tomb and the women who are sent to speak to the disciples. Honestly, women are so underplayed in the Bible. But anyway, Quran chapter 4 verse 157. The Jewish people said, We killed the Messiah, Isa, son of Maryam, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him. But it appeared like that to them. And those who differ therein, are full of doubts. They have no certain knowledge. They follow nothing but conjecture. For surely, they killed him not. The idea is that it wasn't Jesus himself, but the likeness of him that was put on the cross. And there is so much debate as to what that even means. In the Apocrypha and the Gnostic Gospels, Jesus is considered to only have ever been a likeness, as in he was never truly fully human, but mostly spirit, and therefore was incapable of suffering like a human. Now, all of this discussion was shut down by the church because this idea undermines the most fundamental tenet of Christianity, which was that Jesus suffered for our sins. But what do you think? Has the Messiah come and gone or is he still on his way?